Hey everyone, Chris Fuentes, the founder and CEO of Ranger Ready Repellents. Uh, I'm here to tell you what to do when, uh, when you do get a tick bite because I just got one this past weekend when I was out riding in Pennsylvania. Uh, kind of a short story, but went down to see my grandson who was in Washington and stopped in New Hope, Pennsylvania for a great ride along the Delaware River and uh, was so excited about riding that I completely forgot to put uh, Ranger Ready on. And fortunately, I was able to see a couple of days later a classic bullseye. Um, so for those of you who have not seen a classic bullseye, this is what they look like. Um, you shouldn't ignore them at all. This is one of the first things you see, but that's a, that's a classic bullseye right there. And to make sure you don't ignore it. Um, the first time I got bitten by a tick, I ignored it and ended up in the hospital. And um, fortunately, uh, got through with just some very heavy antibiotics and was completely cured. And if you don't catch it, um, then there are some long-term implications of getting Lyme disease and anaplasmosis and ehrlichiosis and other vector-borne diseases that are carried by ticks. And, and the first thing you have to do is make sure that you attack it right from the very beginning. So go directly to the doctor and make sure that you get a, a protocol of 21 days of doxycycline, which is um, a very a straightforward and heavy antibiotic, but it's uh, a Lyme disease and other vector-borne diseases tend to um, respond to it. So be certain that you do get the 21-day uh, regimen of doxycycline. In the meantime, I'm going to take the doxycycline and not ignore the fact that it got bitten by a tick and, and certainly go back to using Ranger Ready repellents, which is why we invented it in the first place. So stay safe when you're out there during the summer. Hope you enjoy your sports and you can find Ranger Ready anytime at rangerready.com.